Hey everybody, welcome to Creative Muse. My name is Kale. I'm Myra. And Hakeem. Yeah, we're well, we're joined by Hakeem today here at Corn Coast Cuts. Uh, yes. Thank you so much for inviting us yeah, in here and anytime. then taking my hair. Oh yeah, for it's, sure. it's Walter all White. Gone. <laughs> Walter White, huh? Exactly. Yes, sir. So well, tell us a little bit about yeah. yourself, what you do. I know you have a business and uh-huh. kind of how you got got to where you are. Um, I go by the name of Hakeem. Um, I'm a recording artist first. Um, I am a barber and I do design clothes as well um, yeah. for the Corn Coast Company. Yeah. You started I'm an Corn artist. Coast yourself, right? Yeah, started Corn Coast. Uh, came up with the name a few years back. People still ask me, you know, how to come up with the name till this day. Yeah, because they love the name so much. It's, and, um, it's good. Long story short, I always wanted to create like a name or like a phrase that was just mm-hmm. very catchy, obviously, but something that branded nebraska Mm because i've always felt that i had this you know weight on my shoulders that i have to be the one to put you know nebraska on the map i feel like a lot of people and i've gotten told all the time i still get told to this day um you know you got to move out you know in order to make something happen and like i don't know i just always had this fire under me just to prove them wrong like i just especially in this day and age bro like you can be anywhere with the click of a button as far as promoting and advertising and marketing it's like you can do it anywhere you don't and have so to how go did to you LA learn and about happen. like all yep. this like how did you learn about building a business and a brand for yourself trial error and failure yeah to be mm-hmm. completely honest mm-hmm. trial trial and error and then failure and just having the desire and determination to like i have you know from point a to point b i have i know where i want to get yeah but i never knew what was going to happen along the way to get me there i didn't know i didn't know what the vehicle was going to be to get me to point a to point b right but i knew i got to get there and i knew that nobody was going to stop me from getting there yep so how are you able to deal with like trials and tribulations of life i just know like if i'm not there yet i know that whatever's in front of me whatever obstacle i know this ain't it yep so i know that i can get through it you know what i'm saying so yeah because you have a vision Exactly. I think that's the big thing like I notice about you right. and something like I like to think about myself yeah. is that like I can see like you're saying you mm-hmm. can see the destination mm-hmm. you don't know how you're going to get there no. but you can see that destination yeah, exactly. that's like all it's that clear matters. in your head yeah mm-hmm. exactly and like you know that's going to happen eventually right. exactly I think belief too oh for sure yeah. for sure that's it's like and I always said like there's like there's there's one there's one trait that separates people like myself and then people mm-hmm. that you know, and it's no, nothing against them. It's just people that just don't do nothing in life. Like, right. are satisfied with their nine to fives and, you know, whatever. whatever. There's, and this is and this is it's some sort of, like, a part of, like, being a kid. It's just as far as in the sense of, like, strongly believing in just, like, that one. You can call it imagine. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, it's no, imagine. It's, this this dream of mine is, in, is it's imaginary until I catch it. Right? Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. It's imaginary. You know what I'm saying? But you it's can just make one, it real. But you can make it real. Yeah. And it's so real in my head, yep. as just like a kid. And it's mm-hmm. and I've always had this since I was a kid. And that's what separates people like us from these other people. It's like we have this yeah. one thing that no matter what, it's it's real. You can't tell me it's yep. not. Yep. I don't care if I, I'm not there yet, but it's real. It's it's real as day. I, I eat, dream, I sleep, about. and breathe it. Like it's there. Oh. That 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 thing right there makes me do all this. You know what I'm saying? It's yep. the reason. That's the reason behind a lot of this stuff. It's not that. I'm just out here trying to prove the haters wrong and stuff. No, this right, is. Yeah. It's a forever there's, thing. Exa- it's a forever thing. There's, yeah. This is a reason why I get up and work. I haven't had a day off since like, you know, August, September. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's a reason why I just work so hard and like miss family time and, you know, do the whole nine and like don't think twice about it. Yep. There's a reason why. And it's just, you know, and it's second nature. There's it's a reason passion. why after I stand and cut hair all day, I can do it for 11 hours yeah. and literally walk to the studio next room and, and get start to recording, start right recording. Away. Yeah. Like, I'm not tired at all. It just fuels oh. me. Like, I can't explain. You know, people be like, well, what makes you, what makes you, you know, do this? I can't. It's either you have it or you don't. I it's can't, true. I can't quite explain you it all. You can't teach it. You can't teach it. No. You got to be yeah. born with it. Like, it's yeah. just like that one specific thing that you're just born with. Like, you know, I kind of have a theory about like, cause I've tried, I've, I've been a good singer for a long time yeah. and at a young age, I believed in a lot of things. Like mm-hmm. I was very religious, Yeah. you know, I, I went to church and, and it's a lot of that kind of stuff, okay. but I realized that that was, imp- it was impossible for me to teach people how to sing. Mm. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. And I think it's because a lot of people 
singing, rapping, mm -hmm. whatever, it, using your abilities, using your yeah. creative abilities, a lot of times your confidence, it, it relies so heavily on your confidence. Oh, for sure. And so if you don't have that confidence inherently, or if you haven't gained it somehow, right. mm -hmm. then you're never going to be able to just do that. Yeah. And so I think a lot of people probably would be great singers, great yeah. rappers, mm -hmm. great producers, whatever yeah. it is, if they were just confident in yeah. themselves and like believed in themselves. Yeah. So. And to piggyback on that, I do believe everybody has that that thing in them. Every, yeah. I think everybody yep. has, to a certain extent, that genius level. You know, I just think that most people don't know it or don't realize it because yep. or a lot of people are like made to hide their light exactly know? because they socially settle. it's not cool mm -hmm. yeah you can or somebody can be issues. the greatest mathematician that's gonna get the next rocket mm -hmm. to mars you know what i'm saying but yep. they don't know it because it's not because they want to be the next rapper they want to be you know what i'm saying it's not yeah. cool to them but they don't realize how big whatever their genius level you know can take you know what I'm saying? They're limiting yeah. themselves. They're limiting yourself because yep. it's not socially cool in society. Yep. You know, it's not cool in society, especially, you know, now in this day and age, in this era. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody has a certain trait that they're just great at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just don't know how to hone it and put it. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't know how to put that energy to the right thing that that's what, you know what I'm saying? They don't know how to put that, you know, coin in the machine where it's just going to give light to it. Yeah. It's also depending on, like, your surroundings. Like, yeah. you're, yes. you're a father, right? Mm -hmm. Your dad. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. how would you teach your kids to and allow them to become the best version of themselves like yeah it's kind of funny that you asked that because i mean growing up how i was raised i know for sure that's not how i'm gonna raise my kids mm -hmm. yeah. um but know you know you that's not going to say that i don't the way that my you know parents raised me the things i didn't like also were the same things that molded me into who i am now yeah, a lot of that true. discipline mm -hmm. yeah is where yep. i got a lot of that so it's interesting that you say that I, I can't give you an answer on that because right. yeah. I as a parent, you sometimes you just don't... You have an idea how you want your kids to be raised and mm -hmm. stuff, but when that certain uh, situation comes and, you know, it's like... You know, I have instances with yeah. my son and it's like, like, damn, like... He's a spitting image of me. This is how yeah. I would have liked to be handled. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, when you were a kid. It's amazing. Like, he'll literally do something and... I'll be like, man, like... I would have done that. Yeah, I would have done that or like, okay, this is where you teach him now. Like, yeah. you yeah. know, I have, you know, instances and I catch myself sometimes like, you know, we did things as kids and, you know, you know, my father scolded us, yelled at us like, you know, blah, 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 you know, and I'll, yeah. I'll do that and I see and I and I can't really fault him because I see I'm, I'm damn near spinning an image of him like as far yeah. as like how much I work and mm. how m the amount of stress I'm under mm -hmm. and then I get home and it's like, Besides, you know, he do something and I, I get to yelling at him. Yeah. yeah. And I got to step back and be like, hold on. What's the rest of this anger coming from behind this yelling? Yeah. Are you just yelling at him purely because he made a mistake? Or where's the rest of this energy is coming from? So I got to hold back and be like, you're mm. under a lot of stress. You had a stressful day. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have Teach to him a different way. It. Yeah. yeah. Don't yep. yell at him. So I'll sit down with him from time to time. And I, I, I don't do this all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning. Yep. That's an important thing. That's the important thing. Yeah. You got to break the cycle. Yep. That's that you got to break yeah. the cycle. Do you think it makes you understand your parents better at all? In a sense, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It does. I think the it same does. thing. Do you have like old family videos or anything like that? Like old VHSs or Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't have access to a lot of them cuz I don't I got speak you. to, you know, yeah. my parents, but I got you. Um yeah, there was definitely stuff on archive that I've we've seen and pictures yeah. and you know stuff like that, but I just recently started converting all my old VHSs, yeah. all my old family ones. Yeah, and it's uh -huh. crazy yeah. because like I'll watch I watch everybody, you know, mm -hmm. I watch my videos, but then I watch the videos of my brother when he was a little kid. Yeah. And when he was like, you know, one or right. like three mm -hmm. and it's so weird because then i think i'm like okay wait my my brother's a lot like my dad mm. my dad was probably like this when mm -hmm. he was a baby yeah. mm -hmm. and so then it, like it is a cycle it's a cycle and it is it is yeah. about like finding those things and finding those lessons and being like yeah. okay what have we already tried yeah. that does not work right right and like what can we do differently that yeah. is gonna just work? being aware of those things yeah. is key you know just yeah. knowing that those patterns exist yeah. is like yeah. the best and the older i get and then also having a son and realizing like how we are raised and how you are mm -hmm. partially obviously is some is genetics but it's like when you start to question like why am I, like it comes from some like you know yeah. what i'm saying there's a root it of it all have, like exactly yep. there's this thing called epigenetics which is mm -hmm. when your, I've heard of that, your mother is like sure. uh, you're you know in your mother's uterus and yeah. any of the feelings that she 
had while mm. she was pregnant, those are like the things that become addictive to uh, you. So if she mm. lacked um, attention, then you're yeah. gonna like seek attention in uh, certain yeah. ways. That makes a lot of sense. And there's like this Yo, whole science yeah. behind That's it. Why I was so. I've heard a lot of crazy so stuff like that. How <laughs> yeah. cells can hold memory and stuff. Yep. Like yeah, uh-huh. how people say when they get or- organ transplants and stuff, and yeah. they say they start liking certain foods and just right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, or That's like uh, another one I've heard, it's a little different, but like mm-hmm. if you have something amputated and mm-hmm. you, people will be like, I swear, like I had pain in my arm, but I haven't had my arm for oh, yeah. four yeah. years yeah, or something. Phantom yeah, phantom like pain. Phantom pain. Yeah. yeah, Damn, for sure. The way your body connects to your mind is is just beyond. Like, it what it does make you wonder like how yeah. they say we only use a certain percentage of our brain. Yeah. Like, yeah. I wonder but, what we can do or what the kit, the... The, the capability yeah. we have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the way our well, body heals on its own itself yeah, it's, is like... it's amazing. Yeah. Especially yeah. on a cellular, you know, level, like seeing cell mitosis and all that. Your yeah. cells split and do their own thing. Are you into like sci-fi type stuff? Oh, though? yes. Oh, hell oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. one thing I've been I'm like really... a nerd, like, yeah? you know what I'm saying? Like, Dude, I'm one of those rapper nerds that like, yeah. out of all my friends and stuff, I'm the oh, weird man. one. You like, you gotta be have you guys Mark. ever thought about space? Like, I'm that person. Like, I love astronomy. Like, yeah. Yeah. So one thing I've been become really interested in recently mm. is the idea of uh, AI mm, and okay. and uh, the collective consciousness and like the idea of us linking up with AI in mm. some way in mm. the future. Because I think one of the thoughts that I've had is that if I could access all the knowledge that's say on the internet or whatever, mm. yeah. I would have the ability to control my body to like the cellular level basically yeah. because yeah. i'd have access to knowledge of mm-hmm. like what cells you do know how and to why it cells and exactly mm-hmm. so like i think that is like a, a next evolutionary but step but then you is, think like, like would you be hyper aware and then like i think you would be hyper crazy? aware and i think <laughs> right and i think that's scary because it could be overwhelming it's yeah. like well what if my personality completely disappeared yeah. because it was taken over by a machine there's a, lot of, there's a lot of like yeah yeah i guess ideas if you will of like as far as humanity, like where we're at, yeah. do you think we're the? You think we're a de-evolutionized human, or do you think we're still progressively? Because you know how they say we can't yeah. use all of our brain. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? I think you think like we're still in, you know, hypothetically the monkey man stage. You know, or yeah. do you think yes. we're the de-evolutionized, and you think the ones that figured it out and evolved are are already in gone. space and shit? So that's definitely possible. I, hmm. and, and I was thinking about that too. I was thinking, okay, but what if some of the people that are here just came here mm-hmm. just because they know like, hey, I'm already at a level where I can control things, like mm-hmm. I'm in complete control. Yeah. And those are the very successful people. I remember the day that like, I had like the realization cause I was be like, man, evolution, that shit is not real, bro. Like, yeah. you know, whatever. I was like, yeah. I was like, bro, if that's the case, I was arguing with somebody at work. I used to be a server in okay. the kitchen. We was okay. just arguing one of those late night conversations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was like, bro, if that was the case, you would see these like halfway fish slash creature, you know, you know sure, all the sure. halfway. Yeah. And he was like, I was like, bro, ex- like explain to me. He's like, bro, what if we are the monkey men? And I was like, oh like i didn't yeah. think about that You're damn like, like what if we are like what if we're like, just because you know like yeah. you will he was like you'll never even see a halfway because mm-hmm. you know how they say it shit happens like every three thousand you know yeah. the gap in like years yeah. so we would never be able to see it with our eyes True. and i'm like no. damn yeah you're right what if we are just the the the, the just byproduct. the next after the monkey man like and yeah. there's gonna be three thousand years later we're gonna have a whole True different like species human yeah you know what i'm saying what if we're just we're not even there yet like we're still evolving and my thought is to and this is we're getting deep philosophical (laughs) metaphysical (laughs) shit now but this is my favorite stuff to talk about oh for sure i love any day stuff so my theory is that you have you have the ability to become immortal you have the ability to live forever but you have to decide that you believe that that's possible okay and then you have to figure out what you need to do to get to that point. Are you saying that you need to have like a medium through that? Like like art, your music, like or, Well, so I think yeah, sure. My now my my thought is that it's actual tangible goals. So like okay. I want to go to Mars. That's yeah. like one of the things that I really want to do. So I really want to meet Elon Musk <laughs> so that I can go to Mars. Yeah. And then then I, my thought was like, well shit, if I made it to Mars, like I could probably do anything like yeah. at that point because if yeah. I've already made it there and I've willed myself to get mm-hmm. to that level, well then it's like what's the next goal? So then it's like well okay now we need to make a colony on Mars. We need to make something that's sustainable. Right. And then once that's done, it's like well, Venus. I mean, might as well try Venus. Yeah. Like you can't live on Venus right now, but mm-hmm. hey, we could probably figure it out. Yeah. And so then after that, it's like well shit. If I made it that far, I might as well go through a black hole because it's like 
I've already like done those. Yeah, I've already hit ready, those goals. Exactly. You and I Mars. think those are achievable. I think those are things that yeah. like, if you really care about it and you really work towards it, yeah. it's like, okay, I'm going to figure out how can I be sustainable? Yeah. That's the first step mm-hmm. is like, how do I grow my own foods so that right. I don't die? Right. And if I can do that, I can probably, what was that movie? Uh, yeah. The Martian. Is it the Martian? Yeah, it was with something uh, like potatoes Matt Damon? or something like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he, makes, yeah. he makes potatoes yes. in, those, in yes. his own so he shit. He eats potatoes like every day or yeah. some shit like that. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. that was a great movie. Yeah, so and that's the type of shit I'm talking about. And so like my family's land, like I want to make mm. a sustainable yeah. food grow because yeah. the intention is, hey, if we ever had a colony, yeah. this is kind of how this it would be. It, yeah. We wouldn't have connection with the outside yeah. world. We'd have to like do mm-hmm. everything ourselves. So, yeah. yeah. I know it's some crazy shit. But. <laughs> well, going back to like your music, mm-hmm. um, what's your process? Like, what do you just like go in the studio and freestyle, or do you write? Oh, no. Do you do both? Um, crazy enough, my best ideas come to me while I'm cutting hair. Yeah. Yes. Yo. By easily. That's, that's the, really good. My though. best innovations and ideas come to me while I'm cutting hair. You got it. You got to like, keep a note. Walter I White keep my shit. like I keep my notepad like open. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I'll take a break and write something I'll, yeah. my, my best lines raps like it comes to me while I'm cutting hair that's awesome it's like a prime place to do it because you're like already working yeah. and like but it's so inconvenient <laughs> oh, yeah. I got yeah. you. it's so inconvenient <laughs> because like how I am as a profession I don't like to be on my phone a lot yep. oh, yeah. but yep. it really sucks like because I'll tell myself like no nah, this is a great ass idea I'm gonna remember I got this. I got, I'm gonna and remember this. Know. And yeah. I don't you lose and it and I don't that, some of I've the best that. lines I forget like yep. because I just choose to serve the client rather than True. You know, yeah. sit and type this, you know, because I'm pretty in depth. Sometimes I'll yeah. write like two keywords, like, and I'll be like, I'll look at it later, like, what is that? Pink monkey. What the fuck are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. And then I've maybe sometimes that. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I, I remember. Oh, yeah, that I don't was know, that I know where I was going. But with sometimes this. you don't. Sometimes it is gone. And it's just gone. Yep. Yep. So, it's gone. Yeah, with that, like, where you get your best ideas is mm-hmm. at work, but also, like, we have. It's called Creative Muse, our yeah. podcast. So yep. we have okay. the idea of the muse is like yeah. a place, a person, a thing. Mm-hmm anything that brings you inspiration so yeah. like for you would be like at work but yeah. what else like brings you inspiration uh this literally what i go through in life yeah. like not to sound mm-hmm. cliche but like mm-hmm. i've been yeah. experiencing this year this summer alone i feel like i've experienced and matured more than i've like i just Hell yeah. i'm on a trajectory and this is why i keep on if you if you've anybody that's been around me they keep hearing me say next year, like next year is gonna yeah. like next music, ne- like next year is like, this the I one. feel like as far as like, and I told you like my story, mm-hmm. like we're getting ready. This is like the getting past the first chapter. We're getting ready to go into like, damn, everything is chapter. clicking for him. Like everything yeah. is happening. Like, wow. It's the like, climax. Exactly. Like, oh, yeah. and then the people are going to realize like, damn, like Hakeem really deserves this. Like you get to looking at everything that Hakeem, oh, like, yeah. damn. For a whole month and that for a whole month, Hakeem was in here using eighty spray paint cans on a ten foot ladder up here, accumulated for like six, Yo. seven hours, <laughs> spray painting the ceiling. Like, and there's so much. There's yeah. So like, I can't wait to it's further. It's gonna like, pay off. It's like, damn. Like, yeah. what, once I tell people literally all the stuff that I had to go through and like yep. the stuff that I like did, they're gonna be like, damn. Like, it really equates to like yeah. people with people that are successful. Nine times out of ten, it's not a coincidence. No. Right. Yeah. I say it takes ten years to be an overnight success. Yeah. Like, yep. I can't wait to tell people, and I'm I'm so excited to tell people my story in full. It's this this first quarter of my life, I'm oh, 25. Yeah. This first quarter of my life, I can't wait to tell people and the kids here, like, because yeah. like, they they, they don't inspire think, them. They too. don't think being from Nebraska is tangible as far as making it. They don't think it's possible. But it is. Like when I it tell, is. it's like, damn. For it, sure. It's there's not much to it. You work your ass off, stay determined, yep. stay consistent. You're going to get, you're going to land, you know what I'm saying? Shoot for the moon, land among the stars. You're going to get, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. It's, there, there's it's obvious equations. Yep. It's, it's mathematical. Just there's nothing up. else to it. You work hard. And you get. Dedicate yeah. and, you know what I'm saying? Dedicate yeah. the time and go harder than everybody else. And that's really it, man. Like, that's it's all. True. There's nothing. There's nothing special. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Hard work beats talent. If talent doesn't work hard, there's nothing that I did that you couldn't do. That's why Absolutely. I never understand haters and stuff. There's yeah. nothing you can do that you can't have what I have. Yeah. Nothing. Not a single thing. It's I didn't true. Hit, I didn't hit the lottery. I wow. didn't. You fucking. You grind. I'm just a kid that grinded. I grinded my ass off. Like, yeah. Purely. That's it. It's really respectful. It is, for yeah. sure. It is, and for I'm not sure. one of those persons that like, oh, I need respect on my name, and you know, because it is what it is. But like, yeah. when I, like I said, when I tell my story in full, yeah, even even a hater has to be like, 
Hats off. Right. Yeah. Hats off. For sure. Hakeem did it. Yeah. Like oh, talking yeah. of All bullshit like and hate you. aside, Hakeem did it. Like, yeah. he did it. Purely. Oh, yeah. I did everything. I showed you guys all. Like, I stuck to my code and stuck to my plan and, and put it off. out there. Yeah. No. Have you seen uh, that Out of Omaha movie? I haven't yet. Yeah? I haven't yet. So I really I think, need to get around and see it. Dude, well, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is uh, Sky yeah. is maybe going to have, or I think he's going to have something coming. Mm-hmm. They should they should do something for you, man. Yeah, uh, I mean, definitely somebody should. I don't know yeah, if you've f- gotten that in the works yet, or if you try do, to figure out. But dude, I do, and if I did, probably do something like that. Yeah. As far as like full scale, it'd probably be with Daily Nebraskan. To be completely honest, like it'd Daily Nebraskan and with Daily Nebraskan. Okay, and, like, that's who did it. I didn't know. No, no, no. Oh. I'm saying like, oh, that's who they, you would work they've with. They've continuously. I yeah. I really want to like always shout Yo, out Daily Daily Nebraska. Shout out Daily Nebraskan because no like. Oh, yeah. You guys always consistently told my story. Mm. Always. Yeah. And I've never, they were never somebody I reached out to. Yeah. A lot of, any article or press release, anything that has been on me, we've never like had to like, hey, can we get yeah, a story I mean, done for yeah. us? Like, That's it's, awesome. It's, and they've always done such a great job of like, I don't know. I don't even know who like runs Daily Nebraska. Yeah. I don't even know the the, the CEO or out. like. We got me. I don't guys. even know. Like I just I meet. You, I just yeah. meet the students that like. Yeah. You know, do their you know. Do their like internship. Or yeah, whatever. they got to do their you know. And yeah. they always you know every every time I usually get somebody new. Like There's I've never gotta met be somebody there that's like. You know, it's kind of like, like a mysterious, yeah, like right? who is like, like a, keeping their eye fan. on. Like, there's got to be yeah. somebody that's like watching from a distance. It's crazy. Like now, I'm really starting to think about yeah. it more because yeah. I never really thought about it in depth. Right. But Daily Nebraska has always been one that's just like that's cool. And it's always been like, okay, cool. Like, let's get this. Like, at least every like a year or two, and they do a nice like, you know, oh, my yeah. my poster or face be around Nebraska or UNL. Yeah. And they always give me a magazine, Damn. and I'm in it, and. Yeah. This guy, yeah, no, no, I think it was like, yeah. It's interesting to say that because like yeah. you don't know who wrote it, so you never know who's helping, who's watching. I met the I met the dude who wrote the article, the writer. Yeah. Okay. I met him, but yeah. I, I don't know who's like the person pushing. who's sending these writers to me and like yeah. people that are like right. publish Hakeem's story. Go yeah. like he's doing like check on up on now because we know he's doing this. Yeah, like, get we the know scoop, he's like, making the move. Yeah. And that's like we we've been starting to run into people who believe in our vision mm-hmm. and are jumping on board too yeah, like that's um, great up that's in sioux city feeling. up in sioux mm-hmm. city we got uh creative uh they're a, a collaborative workspace yeah. what is it creative you just called to creative yeah yeah and uh we should link you up with them too definitely i'm trying to do my debut album through them yeah yeah For sure, yeah, huh? yeah oh, i'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty excited cool about it. yeah it's gonna be fun um, like, so we can excited. wrap it up now with just a yeah. couple questions like okay. regarding like yeah. the future and if you have questions ask us too yeah. um, i can't wait to literally do an in-depth like oh, interview yeah. with you we're guys. gonna do like, a deep dive i don't do <laughs> enough interviews sure. like i don't i really don't but i feel like yeah. i'm at a stage where i have we're a lot to say now but yeah and you should because like i think that's just gonna push you over the edge and like it's gonna push us all over the oh for sure because if you because yeah. if you break through i mean if anybody breaks through it's it's going to be big i'm for so everybody. I'm s- and i'm s- i'm so nebraska like yeah i am like when i blow up people are like you're never going to move out i'm like no nah, no nah, i'm gonna visit other places it, yeah. like you believe in it I'm, and that's I'm, how I feel i'm never going to move away like the only no. person i know the only person that i could ever say i like generally i won't say look up to but like mm. as far as a mentor and like guidance and like as far as the code and like yeah. plans mm-hmm. is mike smith okay Mike Smith, he's from here. Yeah. He's built the bay and Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he's he's still here and like me and him talk a lot. Like it's kinda on some like Jay Z and P. Diddy. Like that's I how know I the see Normans. that's yeah, that's I've, yeah, I've exactly the them too. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously they're all in the same circle, but like yeah. I love the way Mike thinks and I love the way like I got me and him Mike. are like I got yeah, you him. I haven't met yeah, him. Yeah, he we're just like we want to bring it back here. Like yeah. we're trying to build like there's a reason why I named my movement Corn Coast and like Oh, I love it, dude. Everywhere I go, if people love it, like that's what I'm saying. Next year, like yeah. next year the brand the brand Corn, Corn Coast is gonna explode. Yeah. Like the clothing and everything. Oh, it's but, gonna go off. Yeah. I'm so excited for next year. Like dude. Cause I yeah. yeah. And I've actually been away from music for quite some time. Like yeah, I've been writing this stuff that? here and there, but yeah. like in the sense of like I used to like be in the studio every night, like till late. Like I've so been, now been like, starting to get back. In I'm, that I've series. been just building the business. Like I, like I yeah. said, I've been taking a day off. Like you know, what I'm saying I have to yeah. build. I got to work to get employees and like. There's one other thing. I've been I taking a break. Ask. Like people ain't even been seeing the new Hakeem, music Hakeem. Like, yeah, I've I've yeah. been taking. That's a break on this next since. project. Oh, for sure. Like for sure, for sure. So my only last question that I have is, when did you start uh, cutting hair? I started you've cutting done hair. A long time, right. 
if we talking like kind of like the first time like sure you know the little glimpse of like when you notice that your kid is going to do something yeah i actually ended up messing up my brother's hair hairline <laughs> yo this, yeah this brother right here when For i was real? younger yeah i like pushed his hairline way back <laughs> bad bad <laughs> My dad Bloody. came home and like my dad been cutting for like twenty six years so like yeah seeing him and He's how skilled. I live my life and how when yeah. he comes home like tired of that like yeah I, it, but he came home one day and he seen like who did it like yeah it, it was, was bad you. and then <laughs> yeah I thought it was good we was both happy like yeah yeah, hell yeah. oh my god and then later um two thousand uh, fourteen fifteen uh, I was yeah. in North Carolina playing basketball I used to be a basketball player oh yeah I was I cutting my roommate here and there I was cutting my roommate and myself. Then after that, long story short, told my parents I want to become a rapper. Yeah. They was not having it. They wanted to kick me mm -hmm. out the house. You need to go mm -hmm. to school, some sort of school. I was like, damn, I've always been artistic. I used to draw. I used to right. I love pottery. Like, I used to just anything art, artsy I like. Yeah. So I was like, damn, I'm not going to school. I'm just not. I hate school. I just I just do. I was always me a good too. student. I was a great student. I just hated school. God, I hated school. And <laughs> so I was like, damn. And I was like, shit, why don't I become barber? It was one of those careers that my parents, ne my dad never, ever talked to us about. Yeah. Never. He always nursing and basketball, nursing okay. school or like sports. Yeah. Never once a day I ever encourage us to be a barber. No. Ever. Even though he did it. Even though he did it for 26 years, still doing it. Huh. Never. Never. That's crazy. Not once. And then, but you, never. but you made that decision. And even when I decided to go, he yeah. wasn't supportive. Uh, even when I did, he still wanted me to play basketball. I was really good at basketball. I was going to go division one, maybe play overseas. Damn. If I put my mind to it. Yeah. Right. Oh, I don't doubt that. Yeah. Not so, one bit. That's where cutting hair came. It was Yo. out of desperation. Yeah. I didn't want to do it. I didn't now you're here. Cut no. it. And now I'm here. Yeah. It's, it's crazy Dude. where life will take you. Like, That's I true. never want And I still tell people, like, people be like, God, you're so good at cutting hair. I'm like, well, I don't even like it. <laughs> I don't like cutting hair. It's not even my favorite thing to not do. Not to sound ungrateful, but, like, I <laughs> no, damn near yeah. hate the shit. Like, yeah. I'm so good at it, but I just. Because you, you always wanted to get to something bigger yeah. and better. But like, once I always, realized that, that, like, rapping wasn't going to pay the bills and it's still yeah. not. True. I needed to find something to fuel the dream, to fuel the rocket. Yeah. And I was like, this is it. Like, you know yep. So that's yeah. where I'm at with farming. Hey. And you'll realize, like, damn, okay, yeah. now I can use all this money from farming to like be out here and you know to what I'm saying? Because then I always thought making it was gonna have that big song or big album. Yeah. And my career was gonna go off from there. Yep. I thought that was making it. But truthfully, this is. I don't ever have to get paid off of music. Once I get five employee barbers. Yeah, I can live life as a rapper without making a cent from streams. And, yeah, dude, and ain't that crazy? That's is, making it. That's, I never prob that's probably it. when you're gonna start making money. Exactly. It's it's probably probably like after right I did all this damn point. work exactly. and to be a barber and open a barber shop and a whole nine, and yeah. that's when I finally then all of a sudden shit's gonna start clicking. It and is. next For year, sure. hopefully. Hell yeah. yeah. I uh, did it. you have a couple more questions? I yeah, they're just like quick questions okay. about like this past year. So mm -hmm. the most important goal that I achieved this year was probably open this facility. Yeah. Hell yeah! Yeah, nice. Uh, all right, uh, your biggest career accomplishment would probably be the same thing. Yeah, open this facility, mm -hmm. and I guess finding myself as like mm. this this summer was so tough. Like yeah. going broke, like that's a whole. I mean, that's a yeah. whole other yeah. story. But literally going broke and like Some valley shit with kids right and there. having two kids and you know supporting my girlfriend Sabrina. Like, yeah, I ain't never been broke in my life, and I literally mm. went broke. Like, I know what you mean. It was like I know what you mean. You know, it was I'm, scary. I'm right it put now. you. It put you in an uncomfortable Reality spot. Yep. Yeah. It puts you in an uncomfortable spot. But it's like it's hard. People like us with our mentality. It's like I ain't never s sat in my own tears and like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. It's like. I you was gotta grinding go into that pain. You gotta go yeah. in. You gotta embrace it. Yeah. Because I knew like there was a time where I was like, kind of in hit the, hit a depressing type of like mindset, mm -hmm. and I told myself like, man, bro, like you really gotta enjoy those lows. You yeah. gotta enjoy those. You honestly, you, you have to, to enjoy those lows more than you enjoy your highs because yeah. your highs will feel so much sweeter. Because now, oh. even right now where I'm at, it's like, damn, in the summertime, bro, I was on my ass. Yeah, grinding my Lexus here and there, house cuts, point A to point B, while I was fixing this place. Yeah, there I didn't even want to leave this place. I wanted to stay here and paint just and work all the time, fucking rip carpet hours. off. I just wanted to work so much to get it done, and I'd be pissed like fuck. I gotta go do these house cuts. I don't like cutting <laughs> yeah. hair. I gotta go do. This. I gotta make money. Like yeah, you know what I'm yep. saying like, yup, tough times, man. I do have to say it was impressive how quickly this place. Thirty two days. Up, 
32 days yeah. from the moment we got our key in our possession. There you wow. go, man. Took 32 that days. Is, that is crazy. Place That's is almost, almost right 2,000 square feet. And we did almost all this shit with no contractors and no people yeah. that came in and painted and Damn. ripped out the carpet and I always demolition down walls. Yeah, it's floor is cool. Yeah. yeah. This was one of the things that we did outsource for. The floor. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't do the epoxy okay. for ourselves. Okay, okay. But and that wood was there but too? But still. We, uh, we had somebody put in our oh, like okay. close... It was all like close friend family. Like, yeah, we had yeah. a close friend of Fifi's that put shout the out their in. business though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. All local. It was all locally done. So That's I can say awesome. that. All That's locally awesome. done. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so another one was um, a big mistake I made this year, and the lesson I learned was. Ooh, big mistake! Big mistake! It's always hard because like a lot because all those mistakes turned out to be the yeah. That's yeah. what we were, what I'm saying? About what we were saying too on the way here. Ooh, let me think about that. Biggest mistake. Mm, I know. Yeah. My biggest mistake is not like not getting uncomfortable sooner. Like okay. my biggest yeah. mistake yeah. is not getting one. uncomfortable sooner. Yo, and I tell people this all the time. Like n- me being in the shop where the previous shop that I was at at my family business with my dad and stuff it was like, you know, they say like a shark, you know, will only grow to like damn near the size of its tank. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. that's how it was for me. Like, yep, I needed to break free i needed to break the cycle and like you reach capacity i didn't know i i I myself didn't even know i take that back but the potential energy yeah that i have mm-hmm. that everybody kind of has in themselves mm-hmm. that they don't know is there until yep. they have to they're putting a rock in a hard place and they have to do something yep yep like it's that fight or flight exactly yeah exactly survival instinct and i did both Yo. I had to take flight and fight That's but along funny. with that like i didn't know that this was like the decision I needed to make. Like, yeah. I had to fall out. You didn't out. know for sure. To, not only that, I just, I didn't yeah. know that like, I didn't know that I wasn't going to speak to my, like I didn't, from February is, February is when my life changed this year. Yeah. That's when I left the family business. That's mm-hmm. when I, mm-hmm. you know, from February to the summer till October 11th was when we opened this place. Had yeah. our first official day of business. So it was a crazy year. Oh, it was a crazy year from February Shit. to October from opening this place. And that's that's nice. Just one last thing. When oh, when, good, yeah. Yeah. when we we're, grinded we're, it out, yeah, when we grinded it out, want. and the first, I kind of had everything planned in my head when we were fixing up this place and painting the walls, and I was like, man, like I said, I've never drank not a single drop of alcohol. I said, yeah. you know what, bro? I said, when we have our ribbon cutting, I said, uh, let's order a bottle of like Ace of Spades or like something like, like yeah. if I'm gonna drink the first time, I'm Some gonna drink champagne. Shit. Like I'm gonna yeah. drink. Yeah. Why not? Like I deserve right. it. Right. Bro, the day, October 10th, we didn't even have the ribbon cutting. Like, we, the day, you know, we, we finished up this place the day we, like, had our soft opening. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We had our soft open. People were lined outside, and we was like, Damn. like, bro, vacuum. Like, we was like, <laughs> it was still, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. was still yeah. like, like, vacuum, bro. We was in here busting Make our sure ass, wiping, clean. like, yeah. cleaning the last little bit of dust on the wall. Yep. Like, yep. And I was in my, I still had spray paint all of my clothes. I didn't even have time to get changed, bro. The last 24 hours was amazing, bro. Like, yeah. for this place, bro, this platform and shit was done in the, the 24 hours. We stayed here till 6 a.m. Oh, and yeah. And you know what? Yeah. We was like, damn, if we would have did again, we shouldn't even, we took a, like a, we went home for like an hour or two to take a nap to come back. Yep. Overslept like, a little bit. We like, man, should've we should have just stayed up overnight. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We was in here till six, went home, got back around like 12 noon. Yeah. Got 12 noon one. The soft opening was at like seven. And you're just like, uh, we was totally out of but it. But what was I going <laughs> to say? Um, so, yeah, I thought, you know, I thought in my head, like, that I was I was anticipating the day of, like, realization when everything was like, damn, mm-hmm. we did it. Like, damn. We're finally here. I still haven't had that moment. Yeah. And so the night of, and I was like, damn, you know, I thought we was going to pop the champagne and everything. Didn't have the champagne. Didn't even have a ribbon to cut. Yeah. And... After the soft opening and everybody came and it was it was like a great time, and we was like, damn, you know, and I was like, fuck, bro, I gotta work tomorrow. Like, yeah, you know, then when that hit me, I was like, yeah, fuck, I have to, I have to cut hair and work all tomorrow. Yup. And and you're like, you know it saying? doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. No. It doesn't stop. You have to be made different for this. Like, you do. It doesn't stop. Nope. And. Y- at the end of the day, you don't want it to stop. No, you don't. Because that's that's the mm. whole point. And that's, that's like right. one of the one of the analogies. So I recently wrote an article on LinkedIn that was about mm. the, f- the future, essentially, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And I was talking about how 
everybody's trying to get to the top of the mountain. Yeah. But there's nothing at the top of the mountain. No. There's nothing there mm. at all. Like exactly. the whole point of the mountain is climbing it. Exactly. And and like my what I've kind of figured out now is my place is yeah. to walk people up the mountain. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. to walk them up and then exactly. go back down and go exactly. help somebody else. More people up. You know? So That's right, So yeah. Dude, mad respect. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you guys having me. This is dope. I love. Dude, I don't know. I we're like gonna talking. do a lot more of this shit Definitely. for sure. And we're I look excited, forward to next yeah. year. And I look forward to our next podcast because I know by then a million things are gonna change Yo. and we're we gonna sit down. And we might have to book a whole day for this podcast. Oh, but we got it. We got it. We got it yeah. for sure. Hell yeah. Thank cool. you again. Right. Peace right. out. Peace. Shout out Jorge. Yeah. Shout out, oh yeah. Shout hey, shout out my man. Shout out my man. That's our thing. We always gotta shout out. Shout out Jorge, man. Behind the scenes, gotta make it happen.